guys, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing my product empties for January. So the very first item I used up was my Hugo Boss Hugo Deep Red from Scentbird. Now you guys know that I have been a huge fan of Scentbird for a very long time as well as the Hugo Boss Hugo Deep Red. I think it's one of my all-time favorite perfumes, especially for this time of year. I always tend to use it in the fall and winter time, um, but Scentbird, if you're not familiar, is a subscription service so that every single month you get to try out a sample and these are the samples. This is a sample that you would get at Sephora and then this is a sample that you would get at Scentbird. So Scentbird is $15 a month and it is a 30 day supply of perfume so I think you get 120 to 140 sprays in each little vial. So they come in this little kind of cardboard tube and it just says um, Scentbird Travel Spray 8 milliliters 0.27 flow or I always want I always want to say flowing <laughs> fluid ounces so that is what the actual thing comes in when you do get it each month and I've been getting Scentbird for years now. You can upgrade if you want to and you can get two to three cents or you can just do it for $15 a month and you just get one cent a month but you get to go in queue onto your like if you go online and they have an app now as well that you can use but if you go online you can queue up what scents you want to try and they have over 600 different scents to try for men and women and then they have all of you know your typical Gucci, Hugo Boss, Prada, um, Michael Kors, they have tons of different options to choose from but I used up my Hugo Boss, I love the Hugo Boss just because it kind of is like a sweet spicy kind of vanilla warm scent um, but it has a bit of spice to it. It's super good. December was so very kind to sponsor this video and to give me a few extra scents this month. So I normally get one a month, um, but I was able to pick out a few different scents to try um, for this video. So I'm very excited because there's some ones that I've been really wanting to try and there's one that I have tried that I got a tiny little sample of at Sephora and the sample was not big enough so I got that one as well. So I actually have the little vials and you can get these vials and they come in all different colors but like I said I've been getting Scentbird for so long now that I have a ton. When you get the vial or the little container, the travel container, you can just pop them right in and then you push it down and twist it and then you can keep it in here. So I have a ton of these in like all of my purses, my fanny packs. I keep them all the time so that when I'm out and about, I can respray if I feel like, you know what the problem is? Sometimes when you go and eat, you leave and you feel like you end up smelling like the place that you ate. So I always like to keep perfume in um, my purse with me. The nice thing is that you can just twist it and then you just give it a spray. I'm not wearing that one today, so I'll spray the other one. But it's really convenient. They're great for traveling if you're going on the plane because they are a small enough size to where you're not gonna get it kicked out of your bag. You can keep them in your little carry-on, which is awesome. And then they're nicely protected. The glass isn't just floating around. It's very protective. I've never had one of the um, the little vials break. So that's really nice. They're always 100% authentic. So you're getting the actual real scent um, when you do sign up. And they also have um, different like skincare and beauty products now. So you can actually get, um, Sembert has actually their own line of like masks and hand lotions. They also have br like brands like Glam Glow, Kapari, and you can add those onto your subscription service as well. So it's not just perfume. They have Tarte, they have Glow Recipe for skincare. So they have a lot of different options now that they didn't used to have when I first signed up. Some people don't like perfume, so there are other options if you're not a perfume person, if you're maybe just more into skincare or makeup, they do have stuff on there um, on their website. So you guys can go and check that out as well. So I will have a coupon code for you guys and it will be 30% off. So I will leave that link down below. Um, and then of course I will link down each individual um, scent that I'm gonna show you guys right now and then we'll get on to the rest of my empties. So the first one is the Hugo Boss Boss The Scent for Her. And I've never actually smelled this one before. So I'm really interested and I don't know, what am I gonna spray it on? I'll spray it on this little headband here. And they give you a little pamphlet when you get it every month. They'll give you a little um, card that will tell you the notes and what scent you got for the month, which I think is really nice. So it'll say, your fragrance this month is Hugo Boss, Boss, the scent for her. And then it shows you what the actual um, real bottle will look like. And you are able to buy the actual full-size product on Scentbird as well. So you can buy the sample size or you can buy the full size, which is really cool. So this one says, it's an irresistible fragrance, unforgettable, like savored seduction. Exquisite notes of honeyed peach, delicate freesia bloom, captivating osmanthus 
flower and intensely roasted cocoa seduce the scents. Okay, so that one's really nice. There's definitely some kind of fruity, kind of like peachy, um, peachy with a little bit of flower, but then there is a sweetness. So that one's really nice. I've never even smelt anything like that before, actually. It's a good spring summer scent because it's fruity, but it's also kind of fresh, but it's also sweet. So that's a really nice one. Um, and that's what I like about it is that, you know, you just never know if you're going to like a full, uh, if you buy the full size, if you are going to like it. So it's always nice to try it out first. Next we have the Comptoir Sud Pacifique Amour de Cacao. Probably said that wrong, but hopefully I didn't. Okay, so these notes are orange zest, cocoa bean, star fruit, and vanilla pod. So... Let's have a sniff. I'm just gonna have to spray like all of these random corners of my towel here. Oh wow. Okay, so that one is really strong of chocolate. It smells like, oh, it smells like something I've eaten before. It kind of smells like a chocolate cupcake or like a brownie mix or something like that. So it's very, very strong of vanilla and chocolate. It's Basically, like, if you like the smell of baking, that is definitely the one for you. It's super strong of chocolate and vanilla. It just smells like a chocolate cupcake. Like, it smells exactly like chocolate cake, you guys. Next one is the Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vanille Abricot. Abricot. Vanille, vanille Abricot. I'm not very good at French, you guys. Please don't. Don't judge me. So these notes are jackfruit, apricot, papaya, sugar candy, and vanilla pod. Okay, I didn't spray that. I'm gonna have to remember to wash this before I wipe all my brushes with it or they're all gonna stink like perfume. Oh, that one is so yummy. So that one kind of has a very sweet vanilla, but then it has kind of like a very subtle scent of like an apricot or kind of peachy, kind of fruity, but it's very vanilla-y, really sweet. That one's super yummy. If you like vanilla, you will absolutely love that one. That one's nice. I prefer that one over the cacao. The cacao's a little bit strong for me. We're moving on to the Comptoir Sud Pacifique Aloha Tiare Eau de Toilette. Now this one whoop, says that it's a love letter to tropical florals that features the creamy sweetness of tiare flower blended with the herbal smoky sweetness of brushed frangipani and enticing lang lang. Tiare flower, lang lang, and frangipani. So those are the notes. I absolutely love frangipani and I also love lang lang. Um, so I'm really excited to see what this one smells like because frangipani is like one of my favorite scents. Nope, I didn't spray this section. Okay, so let's let that one settle. Oh, it smells exactly like frangipani. It smells exactly like my frangipani Manoi oil. Yes, it's super floral, it has a little bit of sweetness. If you know what frangipani smells like, you will absolutely love that. Basically, so the Elements Manoi oil, or frangipani Manoi oil, is one of my favorite oils. And I always say, like, I wish I could find a perfume that smells exactly like this oil because I would just cover myself in it. And it's ex it smells exactly like that oil. So I highly recommend that one. That's the Aloha Tiare. Okay, so then next we have the By Rosie Jane James. So this one is one that I got from Sephora and I got a little sample of it and of course those samples last like, you know, nothing. So I wanted to get this one in my scent bird so that I had more. It would last me a little bit longer. So the nice thing about the By Rosie Jane brand is that it's a cruelty free scent and there's, a, there's not a lot of cruelty free options for perfumes. Um, I've kind of been doing a little bit more research because I just wanted to give more cruelty free options to people in my videos. So I was really excited when I found out that By Rosie Jane is a cruelty free um, scent, so or brand I should say. So By Rosie Jane James, inspired by fall with rich notes of fig, amber, and gardenia, feels like standing on the porch during a rainstorm. It's cozy and earthy and it's vegan and cruelty free. So I love that. So this one is very floral. It smells like you are just like a bouquet of flower flowers just walking around. Oh my god, it's so amazing. It's so fresh. It's very crisp, but it has a really beautiful floral. Um, it's it's kind of like a 
just a fresh bouquet of flowers like it's super duper fresh it doesn't smell floral in the sense that it's like this is a a perfume of flowers it's like this is a bouquet of flowers that you've just cut and you can kind of smell that greenness if that makes sense it's just so yummy I highly recommend that one and then I also got the by Rosie Jane Angie and I've never smelt this one before so this one is described as a fruity floral it's got gardenia fig and nude musk so it contains notes of blooming jasmine and honeysuckle and she captures LA in full bloom. It also contains notes of fig and feels like late lunches and wine in the afternoon, floral and feminine. And it's created by founder Rosie Jane to express her true love for Los Angeles. And it smells very similar to the by Rosie Jane James, but it's less, it's just a different type of floral. They're really super close though. So if you like James, you will love Angie because it has like a, I feel like it's got a bit of a sweetness to this one. Like there's kind of, I feel like maybe you can smell more of the fig in there because it has just a kind of soft kind of undertone of like a creamy sweetness. Um, but it's so yummy. They're both very floral though. So those are all of the ones that I was able to pick out from Scentbird. Those are ones I've been like eyeing and really, you know, wanting to try. The only one I would say I would probably pass on would be the Comptoir Sud Pacific Amour de Cacao because that one is super strong of chocolate cake. And I don't know if I want to smell like chocolate cake. I, I do want to eat it, but I don't know if I necessarily want to smell like it. It's quite strong, so you might just want to do one very small spritz and then kind of jump into it versus spraying it on you because it's pretty intense. All of the rest of them are amazing. I love all of the other ones. And that's what's the beauty of Scentbird is that imagine if I would have just ordered that online and just paid full price for the full bottle. I would have been so disappointed because I don't necessarily, it's nice, but it's like, oh, I don't know if I like that. So that's why I like Scentbird is that every month you get to try a new one. And like my body gets immune or like my nose, I should say, gets immune to scents that I'm trying. So I like to switch it up because otherwise I don't ever smell it. So I like to just try a different one every day. And so with Scentbird, it's a really affordable way to kind of get your perfume collection bigger without having to spend an absolute fortune because obviously perfume is kind of pricey. Hopefully you guys will try some of those, add those to your queue, and then let me know how you guys like them. I'd say out of all of them, probably the By Rosie Jane James and the um, Aloha Tiare are my favorite. And then of course the Hugo Boss Deep Red, amazing. So the next thing I used up were the Frangipani uh, incense sticks from World Market. I think these are, oh, 99 cents, such a good deal. You can just find them in like the candle section. I'm sure you can find them online too. I'll try and link them for you guys. These are really good. I have the Herb de Provence. Those ones are too intense. Jay lit one the other night and I felt like I was suffocating in my bed. So I had to open all the windows and like sleep with the windows open all night long because it was so strong. But the frangipani never does that for me and we usually light them in the morning when we do our yoga and it just makes you feel real one with the earth. Okay, I also used up the Chesapeake Bay candle in Cinemazing. This is what I had burning for the holidays. It was actually really big and lasted a super long time. It doesn't smell good anymore. Well, no, there's a slight cinnamon scent, but it just smells like cinnamon. It was really good, actually, and it burned down really evenly, which I love, and I just got that one. I think I got it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Downy, April Fresh, and a Persil Pro, Persil Pro Clean Intense Fresh. I used up two of those. Okay, next I used up the Alamazon Cherry Blossom Liquid Soap for hand and body. These ones are so nice, and if you have eczema or if your kids have eczema, they're very, very gentle because they're really moisturizing and they don't dry out their hands. Um, Lily has eczema, so that's something that it's, it's one of those things, if you don't have the right soap, your hands can get so, so painful and dry and itchy. So we always have this in every single one of our bathrooms because it's so hydrating that it really helps with her hands. But even if you're just someone who has naturally dry hands, this is really awesome. I used up the Clinique ID Dramatically Different Oil Control Gel. And this is the one that has the insert. So inside of here is like a serum for texture. Um, you can buy the Dramatically Gel alone by itself, or you can do it so that they have inserts in there, different ones. So one I think is for unevenness, texture, I'm, I'm not really sure what the other ones are for. I think there's like a purple one, I have the blue one because that one's for texture. But there's a couple of different options, and I really like that because then you're getting like your serum and your moisturizer into one. 
So these are great. Also, if you have really oily skin, it's a really lightweight moisturizer and it does not make you greasy. Then I used up an EOS shave cream. This is in the color, the color, the scent pomegranate raspberry. And it's nice because it has a pump top. So I thought that was really convenient. We also used up the Cuccio Somatology Yoga Calm and Clean Epsom Salt Hand and Body Wash. We actually use this in the shower because um, I wanted it, I just didn't want to use it as a hand soap just because I was like, um, this seems fancy. I'm using it as a body wash. It's got lavender oil, so it smells really soothing and like very just like spa like really nice. So I like this one and it didn't dry my skin out and I like the fact that it had a pump top. We used up the Nest Dahlia and Vines Foaming Shower Oil. I have to say I wasn't impressed with this and I was so excited to try Nest um, because it, number one, the packaging is really beautiful. It's also cruelty free, but I don't know. I was expecting so much more from it and it just didn't lather up. Like I could never get a lather. I would put it in my little poof poof and it was like I was just washing myself with oil. Like there was no lather. I felt like I couldn't get clean. and. I just don't know what was going on, but it I was just not impressed. So unfortunately, this was a no-go for me, but the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Um, but I just, I could not, I felt like I could not get clean with it. Then I used up the Wakey Wakey, oh, there's still water in here, body wash. This is the Rosemary and Lemongrass. Um, this is another gluten-free, vegan, cruelty-free brand. So that's really nice. This is by Plant Apothecary. And this one is amazing. This one lathers really, really well. It smells very citrusy and kind of awakening and like very kind of zesty um, and I like the little it's kind of fun to squirt out so I really like that one I'm actually using a facial wash from them at the moment that's called I think it's just called wash your face and it's like an aloe face wash and I love it it's super good and I think it's only like $16 it's a pretty affordable brand but I love the fact that it is cruelty free it is vegan I've now tried two of their products and I feel like um they're just really nice products and they feel very natural. They are eco-friendly. Um, they have pure essential oils in them. They're just really nice. So they're organic, vegan, cruelty-free, no GMO, um, gluten-free. Did I say that? Yeah. So very eco-friendly brand and I really like them. Okay, next we have the Kristen S. Soft Matte Defining, or sorry, Death Defining Soft Matte Pomade. It's so good for keeping their hair into like a little style. Um, Phoenix's hair is quite stubborn. He's growing it out at the moment. Wish me luck, you guys. I'm trying to keep his hair looking nice. It's like got a mind of its own at the moment. At first, like when it's short enough, I can use the pomade and it looks really good. And in the morning, it like I put the pomade in and it looks awesome, but by the end of the day, after he's been playing outside at school for recess and then playing out with his friends in the neighborhood, like his hair ends up becoming just wild, but he said he wants to grow it back out to when he was younger. He saw a picture of him when he had like the longer curls and he said that he really missed it. So he said he's gonna grow it back out and I'm like, you know what, you're nine almost in like three weeks. You do you, do what you want to do. But I'm a little bit nervous because the grow out process I think is going to be very awkward and he's probably going to look really messy all the time. But you know what? I think it's sweet that at nine he just randomly was like, Mom, because I was like, we need to get you a haircut, Phoenix. Your hair is looking crazy. And he's like, Mom, I'm actually thinking about growing my hair out. And I was like, oh. I was like, how long? He's like, you know, kind of like how I had it when I was younger. It's like, I really want to see if I still have curls. I'm like, wow, okay. So... That is his, that's his journey at the moment. We'll see how long he lasts and how long I last because it's, it's going to be, I feel like the grow out process is like so hard when you're going from a haircut like that to like longer. And I was like, do you want to have a man bun? He's like, I'm not really sure yet. Maybe. I'm like, wow, look at this guy already. Um, I tell you what, man, the kids are growing up so fast. It's super weird and it makes me feel really old. But that's a great pomade if you do have shorter hair. It really keeps it in place all day long. That's what I'm trying to say here. Um, I also used up the Kerastase Reflection Bane Chromatique. This is a multi-protecting shampoo for color-treated or highlighted hair. Um, you know, it's okay. I don't love it. I think it's nice, but I actually prefer my Body Shop shampoos more. But it is a nice... I think it's nice if your hair is color treated, but um, I just feel like I like the way my hair feels better and like the condition of my hair 
when I use my body shop shampoos more so and they're way cheaper okay next is the Audria by Thalia the refresher dry shampoo for all hair types this is a dry shampoo the packaging is super cute you can get this at Target you can also get it at Walmart um, it's got coconut, agave, passion fruit, peony, avocado. It's a good dry shampoo. I still haven't found a dry shampoo that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, but it is definitely good. And what I like about it is that it doesn't put that white cast in your hair. So if you are someone who has darker hair, then you can still use it. And surprisingly enough, I looked this up and this is actually cruelty free, which was kind of... Um, a surprise. I didn't actually think it was going to be because there's nothing on the actual... Uh, packaging that says it is. It says Audria by Thalia is a cruelty free brand. Their products are not tested on animals and there are no animal derived ingredients in the line. So that's a really great option at the drugstore for you guys. As far as tanning product, there's hairs stuck on this one too. Ooh. This is the Cocoa Brown by Marissa Carter Extra Dark Shade One Hour Tan Mousse. This is my favorite. For some reason it doesn't last as long as it used to last on me. It like fades out after like basically about a week, which is kind of a bummer, but um, the reason I like this one so much is that it fades out really nicely. So it doesn't leave any weird looking splotchy like dry skin desert. It just disappears and all of a sudden you're pale again. You're like, what the heck, I was just tan. So I do love the fact that it wears off so nicely, but it gives you such a beautiful color. It's super easy to apply, it dries pretty fast. The smell isn't insanely, you know, self tannery. You do stink a little bit, but it's not super bad. Um, and it's also really cute and it's also cruelty free. I used up the pumpkin spice from Mainstays. These are just the Walmart brand Target or I'm sorry, Walmart brand candles. Those smell really good and they do make your house smell amazing. And then I used up, I think this was hyacinth. I don't know, it was the purple one. Um, and then a watermelon one. Those are really good. I got those for... What did I get those for? Did I get them for Christmas? I think Lily got them for me for Christmas. I also used up the Crest 3D White Glamorous White Toothpaste. I get so many comments on my teeth. What do I use to whiten them? Um, I use this every single morning and every single night. I feel like I don't even need to whiten my teeth very much anymore. I used to do the Crest White Strips like maybe once a year and I actually haven't even done it for a really long time. Just because I feel like you don't really need to with this. It like keeps your teeth so white like... And then I also used up the Redken Shades EQ Gloss in Pastel Pink. So you can get this from Salon Centric or if you're not a licensed um, cosmetologist then you can just find a salon that uses Redken Shades and then say that you want Pastel Pink. I think I'm probably like a level seven and a half. Um, it will actually change my color, so that's awesome. If you're any darker than that, you're probably gonna have to pre-lighten in order for it to actually do anything to your hair. I put it on straight at my roots, and then I just put it with the clear at the ends. That way I kind of have more of that kind of rooted, kind of natural effect where it looks like my roots are naturally just darker than my ends, and I really like the way that looks, but at the moment, like I said, it's faded out. The only problem with this color is that it fades out pretty quickly, but it kind of looks a little bit lackluster. Like, I always feel like once it fades out, I'm like, dang, it doesn't look very shiny anymore. Um, but it does look really shiny up top here. It's just where I kind of dilute it with the clear. I have used it in the past straight all the way through my whole hair, and it's really beautiful. I did hair for eight years professionally, and I specialized in color. Luckily I know what I'm doing as far as color goes. That is what I use and I really love it and I'm probably gonna have to retouch it up very soon because it's fading out. So that is my product empties for January. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna link everything down below. Huge thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring the beginning of this video. I really appreciate it. It's always nice when the companies that you have enjoyed and been a fan of for years um, want to work with you. So I was really appreciative of them for that. Um, and of course for giving you guys a coupon code, which is always awesome to save you guys some money. Um, so huge thank you to them for that as well. Of course, everything will be linked down below. I'll put that coupon code. I will put Scentbird down below. I will put the specific scents that I chose and showed you guys in this video. And then I'll show or I'll link everything else that I used in this video for you as well. So huge thank you for watching to you guys. I love you. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video.